This is the topic of the day, Shanali. But bring us the details of, of this JP Morgan deal to acquire First Republic. It certainly is, because as you say, we are watching the biggest U.S. bank get bigger. As we know that there were other bidders behind the scenes, we had reported that Apollo and BlackRock had supported, for example, PNC's efforts to buy the company as well. Yet the reason J.P. Morgan had emerged as the biggest bidder here uh, and the most successful is because, as we know it, that the cost to the deposit insurance fund for the FDIC was the least under a J.P. Morgan acquisition. Now, any other politics that come out beyond this is up for debate. But the question here is, does this stem the banking crisis? We have seen a lot of California lenders now go through a series of struggles. Some, of, as we have been talking about, have failed. Uh, this one now is another major deal, and it certainly gives uh, J.P. Morgan an even more attractive the, the base of customers, high net worth individuals. Remember, when we look at First Republic, there has been a lot of bleeding already for the last couple of weeks and months. But this deal and uh, an iconic franchise is certainly a coup for J.P. Morgan. You go back to when SBB collapsed and one of the beneficiaries was JP Morgan, right? Snapping up some of the venture capital and startup customers or depositors. You, you pose a question there, Shanali, about whether this fixes the sort of systemic risk. Are there any answers to that on the ground yet at Milken Conference in LA? Yeah, you can kind of put it into two buckets here. You have a lot of banking titans that believe that there could be some pain among a couple of more regional lenders. We just talked to Julian Salisbury, for example, the CIO over at Goldman, who believes it's almost death by a million cuts, where you see sustained pressure on the industry, but not wholesale failures or systemic risk. On the other hand, you talk to the likes of a Mark Rowan, the CEO of Apollo, which was behind that PNC bid, and there are a, there's a second wave, really. There's a lot of problems under the surface when you look at other asset classes like commercial real estate. So to where the pain will be felt further is a huge open question.